bane of my existence. I'm only allowed to say delicious two times. Two times, yes. And then Nash has to throw something. <laughs> I'm going to duck this time. Yeah. Because last time that was really close. All right, here we go. Should I introduce this? Yeah. All right. Welcome to I Would Eat That. I'm Corey. I'm John. This is the place where we talk about restaurants we would go to eat. Yeah, we're not a negative review site. We really don't care what you wouldn't eat. There's a ton of things in this world I wouldn't eat. I'd really just focus on the things I want to eat. Honestly, I, I love to eat, so most restaurants are probably going to find something that I'm going to like. But if we don't, we just don't talk about it. No, don't let that go. I know you already said that, and I thought I'd just repeat that again. So everybody Thanks, Corey. understands Thanks. that we like to eat. Okay, so where'd we go? We went to Kenny's Burgers in Frisco. There's a yes, Kenny's Burgers in Frisco, yep. right off Legacy, just north of 121, but there's also mm. one in Plano off Preston. Right. And they both have the same menu. They're both equally delicious, but we went to the one at Frisco today. They are good. My first time. My 927th time. Your picture was on the wall. Should be, should be on the wall. It should, I, I don't know. I. This is, uh, this is a burger place, mm -hmm. predominantly. Some jack wagon went with us and ordered a BLT, yeah. which is basically borderline psychopath I wasn't, at a I wasn't delicious the, burger place. But we won't name any names. I wasn't the jack wagon. But we know who you sure. are. Yeah, that's so, right. It wasn't me. Not this time. Anyway, uh, it, was, it was pretty amazing. One thing I like about Kenny's mm -hmm. is you're talking about a real burger. This, these aren't patties that they yeah. found in some frozen, like, in the freezer no, out back that they just walked out and banged against the grill and slapped them on there. Nope. These are fresh, delicious, large, thick, delicious burgers. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic burgers. So I ordered the uh, black and blue, which has a kind of a Cajun spice with blue cheese crumbles, mm -hmm. lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. I burger was absolutely delicious, but you'll see like when it came out medium, it came out legit medium. Now, some of you people out there that are your well done people, I freak out about that, but that's how a burger should look. But although well done, not overdone, not hard, like not loss of flavor. I mean, they did a really good job getting it right to that well done point where it's, I was like super Yeah, happy it's so good. It's good stuff. It's good. It's yeah. excellent. I had the Bud's Queso Burger, mm -hmm. which is, I went no bun. I'm on a it came bit of a out, diet. honestly, with no bun, it was, it came out, it was a little bit of a mess. So instead of me doing no bun, I doubled the meat. And so I got two patties here, mm -hmm. and then they're like, hey, how about, and it's open face anyway, you eat this with a fork, right. even if there right. is a bun. But they slap open the bun, they put the burger on top of it, then they slather the queso blanco, the like white buds over. queso on there. All over. And then after oh. they put the buds queso on there, they're like, hey, how about some ta sauteed onions? Mm -hmm. How about that deliciousness? Yep. And then you're like, okay, I can't take any more, that's enough deliciousness. And then they're like, hey, how about some bacon crumbles? Yep. Oh yeah. Ooh. And then they're like, hey, one more thing. How about a few jalapenos? And your mouth's like, I can't handle all this, but you do it anyway because it's awesome. It is a hot mess. Ooh. Man, it's, it tastes good. It's wonderful. Yep. It's messy. It is when messy. my when it came out, you'll see the picture. It just looks like a conglomerate of junk it all does. pressed like together. Trash and plate then you plate. slap your fork in there and it's then you're good. like it's a winner so every good. time. It's so good. All right, so so mine wasn't open face. Mine came actually like a burger, um, yeah. but the blue cheese crumbles were melted perfect. The the Cajun spice on there, it was it was it was big though. I was like, yeah. Speaking of open face, it. we have a picture to show you what Corey's open face looked yeah. like during trying to eat this burger. I looked like I was in pain. I wasn't in pain. It's just I was just trying to figure out how to get yeah. it, uh, lips around it because it was yeah. so big. These aren't dainty burgers. No. They're not giant like obscene, but they're, you're not going in there and getting some sort of thin, like it's not the Big Mac bu uh, uh, right. yeah. patty. You're yeah. getting a full burger. And even though you're eating it with a fork, this isn't a place where you want to go and be like, oh, I got to be all. I mean, you got to dive in there and eat it. You're yeah. going to get a little bit messy, but that's okay. So I made a bit of a mistake, and Corey said, hey, I'm thinking about ordering some onion rings, because that's how Corey sounds. Pretty much when I'm hungry. And I was like, so yeah, hungry. order some onion rings. Mm -hmm. Not thinking like, hey, there's only three of us there. Okay, so hold on. When you say onion rings, I mean, you're thinking like an onion ring, right? Mm -hmm. Not like the size of your face onion ring. Like that's the size of the onion rings. And there was probably what, like six of them in that basket? Yeah, there were six of them. We played Jenga with them. We actually did. Later on, we could just stack them up. This thing has its own zip kit, zip zip code. Yep. It's it exactly has its own right. gravitational pull. Like, it, oh, oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, there it is. It's huge. Look at that. It's huge. It's my, so just for reference, my head's massive. 
That's it's it, in Hold the on. dictionary. Hold on, it, it is. I sit right here. Look at that thing compared to my skull. Look at that. It's huge, and they like they should warn you now. You can order them like one onion ring, right? Like you can order just a couple of onion rings. I would not suggest ordering the entire eclipsing basket of onion rings because that's that's too much. If you want to solve the world's hunger problems. Like order a deal of onion rings and spread them around. You Absolutely. only need one order, and you can feed a couple countries. Yep, a couple now, of small countries. The size and volume is great, but so is the taste. Like it's probably one of the better onion rings I've had. It smells delicious. Oh, it's good. The batter's yeah, great. It completely covers the onion ring, and the onion ring's not onion's not sliding out it's of it. Thick yeah, batter. Oh, oh, it's good. That's crazy. But you also had something else. What did you start off with? I started out with the cheese stuffed jalapenos wrapped in bacon. Which are amazing. They use yeah. fresh jalapenos in those. Those aren't frozen. Mm -hmm. They use fresh jalapenos that they get out there. They stuff them with cheese, wrap them with bacon. They give you a, a barbecue sauce, I believe it is. Yeah, and ranch. And then they give you a ranch. Okay. And I if think you'll, you'll see the photos of the just the trying to get the cheese. Yes. Just getting that cheese yes. out yeah. of there. It, 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 so much cheese. As a matter of fact, I think I think we have a video of me trying to dip it in the ranch, and then we were fighting to get the cheese oh. back onto it. To the eat. great thing about oh. Kenny's, though, is they're, they're like the Burger King of delicious burger places. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Burger King is a burger. Anyway, kind they'll of, let you have it your way. Like the Cadillac of cars. So if you're like, oh, hey, I want the Bud's Queso burger, but I also want you to throw some blue cheese on there, bam, it's your way. If you say, mm -hmm. I don't want a full order of the jalapenos, right. I just want one with one. my meal or two with my meal, you just get one or two and they'll do it. They don't mm -hmm. care. They're t they want you to mix it up. And you won't be disappointed at all. I mean, oh, no. excellent. Now we also started off with some fries. What were they? They were truffle, what? Parmesan truffle fries. <laughs> with an aioli. I don't yes. remember what's in the oh, aioli, but it, it's aioli oh great. It was really bad because all of a sudden I couldn't decide I knew I wasn't going to be eat, be able to eat a lot because the burger's big and the onion rings are massive, and then the French fries. I was fighting back and forth between the fries. It's one of those when you can kind of feel like you know the food's about to come back up, uh -huh. but you're still kind of like, "Well, I can just do one more." One more. I, I can't stop. I'm just going to keep on eating it. There is no way. Yeah, because you and don't want to try end. to eat that anyway. Yeah, it's like a, a movie you never want at the end. You just keep on eating, right? <sighs> now, if if you're able to eat and not end. Maybe I'll say that better. If you're able to eat and not stop, they do have something for you, right? They have tons of desserts that are amazing. I yes. did, Once again, I really think we're gonna have to do a second show called I'd Eat That Desserts, mm -hmm. where we go back to all the places where we gorge ourselves and then we're like, no more food, ma. Yeah. And we're really gonna have to go try out like the actual desserts here, but they've got shakes. They've got right. these nice hand spun shakes that are awesome, right. but they also have hand spun shakes with a bit of the alcohol in them. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I'm never going to get the desserts because we order everything on the menu. There's no way. But the one I'm thinking about is the one you can get your picture on the wall if you eat the whole thing. Oh, I thought you were talking about desserts. Desserts would be great. I just haven't made it to desserts because I fill up on everything else. In our last episode, we talked about their El Jefe sandwich. Now, the difference is, is that El Jefe is like made for one, even though it's a gargantuan little barbecue sandwich. It's intended for you to be able to eat it all in one sitting. Their El Jefe is a seven-pound challenge burger that... If you see the picture in this deal, it looks big, but you're like, eh. And then you see the like they the ones a, that won that show that deal. Yeah. It's like a medium pizza pan. For reference, it's they huge. stuck a knife in it, and it looks just like a little tiny kid's little plate thing. Knife. Yeah, it's huge. Seven pounds. They had four people that have actually done this at the Frisco one, and there was like, mm -hmm. what, 340 47, some? Yeah, 47. 347 47 failures. That have not. That have failed. So they have the wall of shame. There are pictures everywhere and then mm -hmm. the hall of fame there's four and if you win you get a t-shirt and i think a defibrillator i think that's exactly what you're right yeah well after you get three punches then you get the defibrillator. yeah mm -hmm. i was gonna we we looked at it i thought we should give it a try and then i'm glad i didn't when i saw the size of the onion rings because they're oh, no way. yeah no way would not have happened all right so um you may not be able to tell would we go back yeah, I'd definitely go back. Absolutely. I, I, this is another place where this is not my first time going there. It was Corey's. I've, I've been back. I keep going back. It's an amazing place. They have great food, great desserts, great shakes. They have a, a nice bar. Yeah. They have vodka on tap. All the way. Yeah, that's right. Like on an ice cold frozen tap, which is what's <laughs> that all about? But every, I mean, everything about it's great. Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm all, I'm all in for it. So, so if you have been there, please... Uh, Leave a, a comment and let us know what you thought of it. What burger did you go with? What sides did you go with? Were you able to eat all the onion rings? Yeah, tell us what your favorite ones were. And Absolutely. then also, if you have a place that you want to suggest, after you subscribe, subscribe to our channel, 
suggest a place to us that you think is like, you guys have to go there. I want you to do your next video over this place and we'll go there, eat it up. And then absolutely. Uh, you but might, let you us know. know ahead of time if we should try the desserts so that we can plan accordingly. Yeah, maybe what like we saying? take a dessert home. Ah, that's a good and idea. And then like two hours later, after we've had our stomachs pumped. That's exactly right. Then dessert. We'll see how the desserts travel. I think that'd be good. All right, have a great All right, day. Thank you. Visit us at www.coryandjohn.com.